So for the telomere sequence, the, it was you know using very old-fashioned technology and running fractionated cut up pieces of DNA on two-dimensional fractionations and and there was a sort of pattern of um, p32 labeled um, oligonucleotide fragments that gave you a pattern and and you actually dry oh you don't dry you develop um, x-ray film you know in a tank in those days it wasn't even in the machine and so you'd sort of have this red light in a dark room remember dark rooms so you'd hold up the picture you know with those all this fixer and there was this very 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 non-random um, pattern, which, wow, you know, immediately said, well, there's something interesting. I didn't think it was sort of, you know, earth-shattering, but I just thought, wow, this is just not what I expected to see, and yet it was very clear visually. And then similarly, with the telomerase enzymatic activity, when Carol showed me, you know, the, the really good gel that she'd got of the fractionated products, and there'd been little, little hints before but this one had really worked very well. And so she showed it to me the day after she got it. She, she actually went in on Christmas Day, you know, which is a holiday, but she went in because she really wanted to have a look at this result. And then the very next day I came and she showed this. And I did think, this is really, really, I could tell this was really an interesting, good result. I really had this strong sense, whoa, there's something, there's really something here. And then the next several months was, okay, let's think of every way we could think of to, to make sure we weren't being fooled. Because <laughs> wishful thinking goes a long way. <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, that's the art, is to sort of know when something's looking really good and worth following up, and also really treating it with great suspicion and trying to test it every way, but not giving up on it. So you have to play both these parts of knowing when to push forward, but also knowing that you have to be the most critical. And, you know, so we would all both think about ways that we could be wrong. And usually one would think of one way, and then I'd be thinking another way, and then, you know, so that we'd alternately get depressed, but not for long. <laughs> yes, so, um, so I sort of did have a sense that these were both interesting, and interesting they were both sort of visual results.